on the eve of Christmas, honoring the holy birth of the Worship Enlightened Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai shared a heart-to-heart -heart message for the world about the true meaning of this widely cherished time of year. The following are some of the highlights. My love to you, in the name of Jesus, and in the name of God Almighty. This is Christmas again, one more year, so fast. And what a year we had. Today, many people celebrate Christmas inside their house or with their friends or with groups or by Zooming, yeah. Many people don't. Many people cannot afford. I, I do not celebrate Christmas. I send things to let my uh, team workers celebrate, but I myself don't celebrate anything. I'm just here today to remind you of the spirit of Christmas. It's not just all about ourselves, that we have a big party. Chopping down millions of young trees. Killing millions of, of animals, turkeys, the innocent ones, they wanted to live. They wanted to enjoy life. They wanted also to celebrate Christmas in their heart. But we just cut short their life, snub the life out of them without thinking twice. I don't want to cry now. I think about that. Think about that. We don't have to kill the turkey to celebrate Christ's birthday. He never ate any animal product. He was vegetarian. He was from the Essene lineage, and they have been vegetarian all the time. So if we celebrate Christ's birthday, Christmas, we should remember all this. His teaching is important. If we say we are followers of Jesus, then we should remember the Lord's core teaching, that is compassion love for all beings. Our world suffer a lot already, and now we have this pandemic. And it's not an end of it yet. It's not done yet. It keeps spreading around and developing more, more strains, more variants, so that the scientists and doctors are still worry whether or not the new found vaccine will be effective. My heart has been feeling pain, a lot of pain. I cannot cry enough for humanity. I cannot tell you enough how I feel. In this world, nobody ever had to go hungry. We can give them financial assistance so they can start their own business. We can give them land, whoever needs land, to cultivate vegan food. We can change all these animal farms into organic vegan farms. The structure is already there. Just change something. The land is already there. The employees are already there. Everyone can change into an organic vegan farm anytime. I remember when I was in Europe. I can't remember where I was, though. I was in a hotel waiting to go somewhere. And I happened to re read the newspaper from England. Uh, it told a story of a boy in Africa somewhere that all he needs is just 30 pounds. Then he can take care of his whole family, meaning he can cultivate the land. He can have enough money to buy seeds to cultivate his land or some equipment for farming. That's all he needs. So I sent him a check of 100 pounds, or more than that, I can't remember. What I mean is, it doesn't take much for people to take care of themselves. And it's a pity that these hardworking people, sincere people, still need to be hungry because they don't have the means to take care of themselves. <laughs> Meanwhile, we, in big societies, have too much, too much. We waste it on anything at all. 
and buying drugs and all kind of toxins and call that pleasure. We spoil ourselves with many things that are really unnecessary. The more we want, the more we are dependent. And then we just get worse and worse physically, mentally, and spiritually as well. That's a pity, you know. Jesus has died for us, and we have not made use much of His teaching. His teaching is not just material things, not just material lecture, because what He said, other Masters have said already before also, more or less before Him or after Him. What He gave is something not spoken by human language. Many Masters use that to teach and uplift their disciples. Jesus did that as well. At the time of Jesus baptizing, people already could see the Kingdom of God, a glimpse of it. Nowadays we still can, if we have a good guide, good teacher, good master, who knows how to help us to open the Kingdom of God for us to see. I just want to remind you of the spirit of Christmas. If you really Worship Jesus Christ. You have to follow Him by His teaching. Even if you are not enlightened yet, you must do what you can physically to help each other and to stop all the killing, stop all the war, stop all the war with humans, stop all the war with animals. Then heaven will be more lenient with us and we will not suffer pandemics or any other disaster again. That is the most urgent thing to do. And for enlightenment, you have to seek a guide, a master, teacher, truly the one who can lift you out of this world and the next, because the lower heavens are just only the beginning. There are better places for us to exist. And the New Year's coming, we should start a new, new style of life, you know, be vegan, be kind, be generous, be good to others around us. All right, thank you very much, and I wish you the best. May God bless us all until we change for the better. We have to change for the better. Christmas and New Year, make a promise to yourself and to God that you will change for the better more benevolent, more compassionate, more considerate for all beings on this planet. Amen. At this special time of year, we remember the great love and sacrifice of Lord Jesus Christ and all the spiritual masters, past and present, who have graced this planet. Our deep gratitude to Supreme Master Ching Hai for her earnest message as a true friend who offers her loving guidance while shedding ceaseless tears for our erring human race. In heaven's mercy, may we heed Master's profound counsel and make new resolutions to lead a compassionate vegan life, thus truly helping one another and ourselves. For the full rebroadcast of this live message from Supreme Master Ching Hai with multi-language subtitles, please tune into Words of Wisdom on Monday and Tuesday, January 4th and 5th, 2021.